Hello. We're going to do five sun salutations. So we're going to start off with more of a simplified sun salutation. So we're going to do five of them. We're going to step back into downward facing dog and we're not going to do plank. So it's just a nice way to warm ourselves up. Doing five sun salutations a day uh, will help stretch you out, warm you up, get you ready, take anything on. Okay, so we're starting off. Mountain pose. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Looking up at the hands. Exhale, forward fold. So hands going down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, come up halfway, look forward. And then stepping into downward facing dog. So if this is the first time you've done downward dog, you're just stepping both feet back. So really trying to spread the hands out. So spreading the weight to the hands, bending the knees a little bit. So we're trying to shift the weight more to the legs and less off the wrists and shoulders. So if it feels comfortable to bend both legs, both knees, that's great. If it feels comfortable to straighten, that's great as well. So we're gonna step our feet forward again, coming out of the sun salutation. So stepping both feet forward, straightening legs, look forward. And then we're exhaling, hands come down to the floor, bending knees, head to knees. Inhale, standing. Reaching arms overhead, looking up at the hands, and then coming back to center. So we're gonna do that four more times, just giving you other explanation of the different poses. So if it doesn't feel right the first time, it's fine. So just keep trying, keep, try to keep just flowing and moving. Movement is key. Stand tall in mountain pose. So feet are firmly placed on the ground, hands to the side. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead, full body stretch. Exhale, forward fold. So hands coming down to the floor, bend the knees. So try to make some contact with the mat. Inhale, come up halfway, look forward. So straightening legs, half forward fold, reaching forward with the chest, and then stepping back into downward facing dog. So maybe looking at the positioning of the feet. So the feet can be about hips width apart. So just try to see, maybe they feel comfortable being closer together. So just experiment with that. Again, hand placement. So the middle finger may be pointing forward, but maybe it feels better for you to have the hands out to the side. So just experiment with hand placement. Breathing deeply. Pushing the tailbone upward a bit. On your next inhale, step both feet to the front. So close to the hands. Coming out of this by straightening legs, looking forward, flat back. And then exhale, hands come down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, standing up. Reaching up over the head. And exhaling. Back to mountain pose. Okay, again, third time. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Looking up at the hands, noticing the balancing of the body. Exhale, forward fold. So hands coming down to the floor, bending knees if the hamstrings are feeling tight. Inhale, straight legs, look forward. And then stepping into downward facing dog. Maybe this time you wanna push each heel into the mat. So saying pedaling the feet. So we're finding movement in the backs of the legs, the hips, you can maybe move the hips side to side. So all we're trying to do is trying to just stretch out every muscle in the body in the sequence. Okay, so pushing both heels down, pushing the tailbone upward, feeling that stretch in the backs of the legs. On your next inhale, stepping both feet to the front of the mat, near the hands. Come. So we're gonna have half forward fold so we can balance a tray of drinks on this back. So feeling that middle of the back, kind of pushing down. Inhale. Exhale, full forward fold. So the hands push downward onto the mat. Bend the knees slightly if needed. Inhale, standing. Reaching the arms up overhead. Exhale, back to center. Mountain pose. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Looking up at the hands. Exhale, forward fold. Hands coming down to the mat, head to knees. Inhale, Standing up halfway, so half forward fold. Stepping into downward dog. So finding that hand placement, maybe you wanna walk the feet back a little bit. 
feeling further stretch in the shoulders. Maybe you want to walk the feet a little bit closer to the hands. So in kind of a narrower downward dog. Maybe you want to bend the knee slightly, pushing the tailbone upward, relaxing the neck. So just do what feels comfortable in this pose. There's no perfect way to do downward dog. But just do, do it in a way that you feel as though you're not straining things. So we're trying to stretch. We're trying to find benefits here. On your next inhale, step both feet to the front of the mat, coming up to fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. So hands coming all the way down. So maybe bending the knees enough to where you can push the, the entire part of the hand onto the mat, feeling that stretch of the shoulders. Inhale, standing. Reaching the arms up. Exhale. Back to center. Okay, one more time. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. So bending the knees, hands coming down to the ground. Inhale, half forward fold by straightening. Legs reaching chest forward, feeling that stretch in the backs of the legs. Hands come down, stepping into downward dog. So again, we're trying to have full contact of the hands, the fingers, everything. So really pushing the entire hand onto the mat. Let the head drop down. Maybe driving the heels down. They don't have to touch the ground. Just release the neck. You could shake the head out. It's a nice time to shake the head out. Drawing in the abdomen as well. Pushing tailbone up. Breathing. On your next inhale, stepping both feet to the hands. Come up to fingertips. So we're in a half forward fold. Deep inhale. Exhale, full forward fold. So the knees can be bent slightly or not. It depends on how much tightness you feel in the backs of the legs of the hips. Inhale, standing. Arms can be overhead, reaching, looking up at the hands, full body stretch. And exhale, back to center. So, it's a really great thing to do in the morning. You just wake up first thing, roll out of bed, and do five of these, even three, anything, just to get the body moving. Maybe in the middle of the day, you've been sitting down, really just to find some energy to wake up. So it's really, really beneficial, and I hope this helps, and see you next time.